cool, cool. Hello, ho there, neighbor Renos. Okay, figure I should give you a little bit more news. So, first things first, according to a an article brought to you by the English website express.co.uk, of course. Um, so there there's a few there's a few bits of news brought brought to you for PlayStation. So first things first, PlayStation has a few projects in the works right now. One of them is a, a project that many of you have probably already know called Yakuza. There's one in the works that's unnamed at the moment, but it's something that we can expect at tomorrow's State of Play presentation. At the moment, they're just searching for voice actors, but you, you can expect further news on it later. This state of play and this state of play presentation is going to have plenty of software, hardware, well, not, not so much hardware, but it's going to have plenty of games and accessories news as far as PlayStation is concerned. Now, this state of play will not have any any PlayStation 5 news because 10 to 1, we actually, yeah, we, we both know that that's all anybody would take out of this presentation is just the, the news about the PlayStation 5. So instead, what they're going to focus on is the games, what they have lined up throughout the pipeline for the next quarter or six months or whatever it is. The next period until the next state of play is when we're going to be going, when PlayStation is going to be releasing their next news conference. Now, as far as, as far as when that is, uh, it said it was going to be released at 9 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. So that is going to be at 3 p.m. Mountain Time or 2 p.m. I think it's two. You'll you'll have to look up what your what your time zone is as far as that goes. But it said for sure that it was nine p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. So do keep an eye out for that. And then these state of plays, as I said, are going to have are are going to be replacing PlayStation and I guess Sony's. E3 presence. So they will not be appearing at E3 this year. And depending on how well this goes, they may not go back next year or any year after that. They, for all we know, they may be done with E3 at this point just because they can stream out these big, massive conferences on YouTube and then call it good. As far as that goes, one thing that I am looking forward to are the exclusive games that are going to be announced tomorrow. Not just for the PS4, but also for the PlayStation VR. One in particular that I am looking for is Wolfenstein. I already pre-ordered that at GameStop, but there is no release date set for it. It's just like a TBD some point this year, maybe. It might even come out next year for all we know. Well, it, as far as all I know. As far as Microsoft is concerned, they are, in fact, going to have their own announcements at E3. But one thing that they've already made clear is that we can expect some more console news out of them to, to hit before E3 comes at us in June. But when it does, you, you can also expect more news about the Project X Cloud, their version of PlayStation Now and Steam's, Steam, the Steam Link. But honestly, I, I don't know about you, but Project X Cloud seems like a waste of time and money since they already have the game pass. They they may be different things, but 
the game pass seems like it 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 seems like in that ballpark, you know what I mean? But this this console announcement that we can expect out of Microsoft though is going to mirror we we could likely expect it to mirror something akin to what happened to the Xbox One when it came out. When it launched in 2013, there was a lot of pushback because they were they were trying to launch an always-on, fully digital system, something that we just recently saw announced and was almost to a point praised when it came out, when, when it was announced like a month ago. So we may see them try to push the gauntlet again, trying to push for the the final iteration of Microsoft's home console system so that it's like a full end-all generation just because we're getting to that point in processing, graphics, memory, storage, everything that makes a console worth playing is kind of, in, in my opinion, it's peaking. And it's plateauing. So I, I have a feeling that Microsoft is seeing that too on some level. So we could likely expect something along those lines when, when Microsoft has their stage presence at E3. And again, that's in June. But one thing we can also, we also have to keep in mind though, is that PlayStation isn't the only console maker that's pulled out of E3. We also have we also have Nintendo that's pulled out of E3 for this year. Because they're they're doing their own Nintendo Direct. So Microsoft is going to be the only one with stage presence at E3, meaning that they could very well try to push the gauntlet and really show that they've improved as a brand. You know what I mean? That they have understood and listened to the consumers far more than they have on, on the way up to the, the Xbox One launch. So hopefully they did and we can expect something a bit more consumer oriented. It, it may even be, it may even be like a, a repeat of what they were intending for with the Xbox One. So on that note, I will see you guys later. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy my screeching voice and nails on a chalkboard, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me I'm a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.